Okay, so here is the 13 inch MacBook with the Force Touch trackpad. Here is my hand. I am touching it. I am going to find something to click on. Let's see, it feels really smooth. The glass surface maybe is a little bit smoother than the previous models. I'm going to click on the calendar. Okay, there's the calendar. I'm going to go up and click on something else. Yeah, I see exactly what people are talking about. Holy cow. Okay, so when you click, it feels like something was bumped internally inside of the trackpad. And it, it's hard to say that it has a definitive click like the last generation. I wouldn't say this is clicky like that. It's more subtle. But it's definitely causing a physical motion. It's very faint. It's very responsive. It happens right when you want it to happen. Just that's my first impression. And you can click anywhere on the trackpad. That is where it shines. Tapping works too. So I just tapped those last two times. And you can click anywhere. This feels great. So I tapped again. Tapping works just the way I, I've always known it to be. Double clicking. Double clicking feels a little bit weaker, but that just might be incidental, not actually true. It feels good with the thumb, it feels good with the pinky, feels good with the middle finger, with the ring finger. It also makes a unique sound. The sound is a little bit like the Tin Man using his oil can, but it's very faint. It doesn't sound bad. I'm not saying it sounds old-fashioned when I say that about the Tin Man. I kind of liked the sound of his oil can. It's a very subtle clicky sound. It's not like something out of iOS that I've heard before, but it sounds like something I would expect from iOS. And gestures feel really nice on this because it is that much smoother, silkier than the previous ones. That when you use like four finger swipe gestures, it just feels very soft. Oh man, it feels really nice. And it, it's not like a, it's not like I would buy this machine just for the force touch. But this is definitely the way of the future and I like it. I would use it for this reason. If I were given the option between a Mac that was exactly the same and one that has force touch, I would go with force touch. It doesn't feel like you have to press that hard. You don't have to press very far down. It's very responsive. It knows what you want to do when you start to give it the extra pressure. And we gotta go.